Hi. Hi, I'm Mohan. Uh, in this video, I'm going to explain uh, the development of uh, lateral surface of uh, solids. Uh, this question is choose from a VTO model question paper. Uh, the problem is a pentagonal prism of base height 30 mm and axis length 60 mm rest with its base on HP and an edge of the base inclined to 45 degree to VP. It is cut by a plane perpendicular to VP inclined at 40 degree to HP and passing through a point on the axis at a distance of 30 mm from the base. Develop the remaining surface of the truncated prism. Okay, here uh, the type of solid is pentagonal prism. Uh, we know that uh, for the prism, when we cut and when we unfold it, we're going to see rectangular faces. Okay, this is important. For pyramid, we're going to see triangular faces. For prism, we're going to see the rectangular faces. And in order to construct the top view, we need the resting condition. Okay, in this problem, one of the base is inclined at 45 degree to VP. Okay, first let us... Uh, draw the solution uh, without considering the cut section okay i'll go to solid edge if i do the sheet setup okay we have to select uh, a4 sheet and we have to turn off the show background option okay first i'm going to draw the top view and uh, front view uh, go to line command uh, choose thickness as 0 0.13 mm okay i'm going to draw an uh, xy line uh, next, I'm going to name this. Go to text option. Okay, this is uh, capital X. So uh, this is capital Y. Okay, I'm going to choose thickness as 3 mm. Okay, above the XY line will be having uh, VP. Below the XY line will be having HP. Okay, now this is pentagonal prism. The top view looks like a pentagon. Uh, Go to application, macros, run macros, inside polygon, open. Okay, here. Okay, that uh, macros option is not working. Okay, if that option is not working, you can construct the pentagon by using line command only. Okay, go to line command. Okay, what is the dimension of pentagon? Okay, our base side is 30 mm. Okay, I'll go to line command. Thickness, let it be 0 0.13 mm. Okay, angle is, sorry, length is 30. Enter, angle is 72. Enter. Okay, again, length is 30. Enter, angle is 72 into 2. Enter. Length is, again, 30. Enter, angle is 72 into 3. Enter. Length is 30. Enter angle is 72 into 4. Enter. Okay. Length is 30. Enter angle is 72 into 5. Enter. Okay. By using line command also, we can construct uh, the pentagon if that macros option is not working. Okay. Now, we have to place this pentagon okay. over here. Uh, see the resting condition. One of the base is inclined at 45 degree to VP. Therefore, first I'm going to construct one line which makes an angle of uh, 45 degree with VP. First draw one line, then go to angle between option. Angle between this line and this line. This should be 45. Okay, now go to select option. Select that the pentagon. Okay, go to move option. Select this base. Okay, you have to place that base on this line. Now go to rotate option. Let's turn off the copy command. Okay, this is the fixed point. This is movable point. You have to place like this. Okay, now I'm going to name this uh, pentagon. Okay, before that we need the center point in order to draw the axis line. Go to line command. From this corner to opposite midpoint. From this corner to opposite uh, midpoint. Okay, now this intersection point is open. Okay, any two perpendicular bisector is enough to identify that uh, O point. Okay, now I'm going to name this. I'm going to name this corner as A in bracket A1. Okay, this corner as uh, B in bracket B1. 
okay this corner as c in bracket c1 okay this as d in bracket d1 this corner as v in bracket d1 okay now i'm going to draw the projection line from each corner a to x y line Next, B to XY line, corner C to XY line, it should be a straight line. Next, D to XY line, from O. Here you should get intersection symbol from O to XY line. Now, the axis length height is 60 mm. First, I'm going to construct one axis line. The length is 60. Okay, since this is a pentagonal prism, the front view looks like a rectangle. I'm going to construct uh, the rectangle. Axis length is 60. Okay, I'm going to change the thickness to 0 0.13 mm only. Later, I'm going to highlight for uh, cut section portion. Now, let it be 0 0.13 mm. Now, I'm going to name this. Okay, this is uh, a dash. Okay, this is A1 dash, this is B dash, this point is B1 dash, okay, this is uh, C dash, this point is C1 dash, this is D dash, this point is D1 dash. Okay, we have E also. First draw the projection line. Thickness, let it be 0 0.3 mm only. And now name this. This is uh, E dash. And this point is uh, E1 dash. This axis line, this is O dash. And this is O1 dash. Uh, if you want, you can show the axis length that is uh, 60 mm. Okay, now this is uh, front view on top view of a uh, pentagon prism. Uh, if you draw the development, uh, we're going to see the rectangular faces. First, I'm going to draw the five rectangular uh, boxes. Go to line command. Okay, the height is 60 mm. Okay. Thickness, let it be 0 0.13 mm only. The base side is 30. Enter. Height 60. Enter. Again 30. First, I'm going to construct one rectangular box. Okay, next I'm going to use a mirror option. Since this is pentagon, pentagon has five sides. Therefore, when we cut and unfold it, we're going to see five rectangular boxes. Go to select option. Select this rectangular box. Go to mirror option, second, third, fourth, fifth. Now I'm going to name this. 
okay this is a a1 this is b b1 this is c c1 this is d d1 okay this is e e1 next this is again a a1 you can see this base side is 30 mm and this length is 60 mm oh now this is solution for pentagon prism uh, without considering that cut section okay but in this problem they are given that cut section condition okay it is cut by a plane perpendicular to vp inclined at 40 degree to hp passing through the point on the axis at a distance of 30 mm from the base okay first i'm going to draw one line which is 30 mm from the axis okay thickness that it be 0 0.13 only i'm going to draw one line now go to distance between option the distance between this line and this line it should be 30 okay first draw one line which is 30 mm from the axis line okay now from this intersection point that is from the midpoint of the axis line i'm going to draw one line which makes an angle of 40 degree to hp okay first draw one line now go to angle between option angle between this line and this line should be 40 degree now go to extend to next option extend this line till it meets the last line okay now this is the cut section now i'm going to highlight this portion by using a thick line go to line command now select thickness as 0 0.50 mm okay i'll start from uh, a1 dash a1 dash to this intersection point till here okay use uh, different lines I should get that intersection symbol. Okay, D1 dash to C1 dash, C1 dash to E1 dash, E1 dash to B1 dash, B1 dash to A1 dash again. Again, B1 dash to this point. Next, E1 dash to this intersection point. next c1 dash to this intersection point okay now this is the cut section now you have to draw the development of this cut section okay uh, first let me name that intersection points okay between a and a1 we have a uh, point one okay between b and b1 we have point two uh, between C and C1, we have a point uh, 3. Between D and D1, we have point 4. Next, between E and E1, we have point uh, 5. Okay, now you can observe here. I'll go to line command. Choose the thickness as 0 0.13 mm. Okay, from point 1. Okay, I'm going to draw a one line, horizontal line. Okay, so you can observe between A and A1, we have point 1. I'm going to name that points. Okay, this is point 1. Okay, here also we have A, A1. I'm going to name this point as 1. Next, from point 2, I'm going to draw a line. Okay, notice that point 2 is between uh, B and B1. Okay, I'm going to draw till here that is bb1 line okay i'm going to name that point as next point 3 point 3 is there between c and c1 okay, draw on horizontal line till c c1 name that point as 3 next point 4 is between d and d1 okay, draw on horizontal line till d d1 okay name that 
point as four. Next point five is between E and E one. Draw one horizontal line till E even. Name that point as five. And now I'm going to join all the point by using thick line. Now change the thickness to zero point five zero. I'll start from A one. A one two one. One two 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 three three two four four two five five to one again one to a one a one to e one e one to d one d one to c one c one to b one b one to a one again b one to two one to two c one to three d one to four e one to five Okay, this is the development of the cut section of uh, pentagon prism. Thank you.